Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on Jurassic Collectibles. So today we are taking things back a little bit. We are not looking at any Mattel products. Uh, I know that you guys have been asking for variety in the comments. Um, so I wanted to take a look at some Collect A. So we've got two Collect A products for this week. Uh, in today's video we are taking a look at this gorgeous Triceratops. And I believe this is quite an old mould. Um, just looking on the base there isn't really any information on it. But looking at the Collect A tag. Um, it's actually not a date. Oh there is a date stamp actually. Right in the middle. 2006 it looks like so a 2006 sculpt you can see the collect a logo just there a really really <laughs> old sculpt of the triceratops so obviously we've learned a lot more about this dinosaur in terms of its paleontology since 2006 uh, but surprisingly this is quite accurate um, from everything I'm looking at you know I think the beak and the crest is perhaps a little bit droopy um, but beyond that this is pretty pretty spot on to what I would expect um, so Collect A for me something that JC collects a fair bit of I've not bought too much of and I have to admit I am really impressed by just the level of detail in this sculpt work so you can see there's lots of bumps, lots of little kind of um, sort of textures for the skin, lots of colours, you've got blacks and greys, and you've also got some really, really gorgeous detail on the feet where the skin's kind of creased around the toenails. And the toenails are done in a really nice yellow, um, which looks really, really good. You can kind of see it better on this one, in fact. It just looks so good, you know, it's kind of got that level of dynamicism that I expect from a sculpt. Um, and obviously those of you who are Collect A fans will know that these are static figures, so they do not have any articulation. Um, but actually I don't really feel like it needs it, you know, the details there are enough. And you can see we've got the tail which curves down the back here. You again have got that nice pebbling. And then at the crest here, you've got some nice pebbling on the back of it. You've got obviously the details on the front, lots of sort of rough patchy skin as you'd expect. And then looking straight on, you've got the tri horns for the triceratops. You can see some nice detail around where they connect to the head and sort of come out some nice little bits of texture in there. Not too much, but enough to make it look quite nice. And then obviously the smaller horn coming out the bottom there as well. And you can see the eye and the beak there <laughs> look really, really great. That eye is spot on. So when I would compare this with something like a Mattel figure, I can tell you that Collecte clearly focus a lot more on the detail than the articulation, and that really does show. I mean, when you look at the joints here, if we can get that to focus, you can see there's a lot of depth and the darker paint helps with that but the sculpting is also there to kind of make this feel quite dynamic quite sort of interesting um, and yeah a really nice collectible piece I really like the amount of detail that's packed into the sculpt on this one and I really really like the uh, overall look and appearance of this figure. So a cool one, um, thank you for encouraging me to pick this up. Not something I would have looked at otherwise, but I'm glad that you guys asked for it because it's a really cool figure. Um, and we will have another Collect Day review for you later this week. So thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video guys. Do let us know if you enjoyed it in the comments below. Like, favourite, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. And until the next time, take care and have a great week.